Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps to set up the Insight L38 to acquire images in minimal steps. Before we begin, make sure the L38 device is powered on and Insight Vision Suite is open. This video assumes that you are using a differential encoder. To understand the importance of encoders and how to select and connect one to the Insight L38, please refer to the What is an Encoder video. You can find your connected L38 in the Insight Vision Suite device panel. Refer to the Getting Started video for help connecting to the device. After the device is connected, click the Spreadsheet Connect button to enter the Insight Vision Suite editor. In the Acquisition tab, the first step is to determine the direction of the encoder. For encoder and acquisition direction, choose either the Lens to Laser or Laser to Lens option based on which direction a part is moving. The text in the current motion dialog will change according to what acquisition direction is selected. The lens is located at the rear of the device, closest to the cable connections, while the laser is located at the front of the device. Next in the Profile tab, let's adjust the exposure. Place the correction target under the laser, then click the Auto button in the Exposure section. The laser line from the acquisition will appear in the display area. To improve acquisition detection, you can adjust the detection zone with the Configure the Detection Zone button. Drag the cyan lines to expand or reduce the size of the detection zone based on the size of your part in the Z dimension. The next step is to perform a field correction. The field correction is used to provide the L38 knowledge of the motion system, the encoder it will be used with, as well as to correct any mounting issues, such as a slight tilt of the device relative to where it is scanning. This ensures that scans are accurate to real-world space and not stretched as shown in the second image. After correction in the Correction tab, look for the Target Correction option. We are using the 20mm target for this demo, but Cognix offers three additional target sizes depending on which L38 model you are using. These target sizes are dependent on the height the device is mounted at, and each device has a unique mounting height for the setup. For example, the Insight L38500 can be installed at a very high height requiring a large correction target for calibration. However, the space to do the scan, such as the conveyor belt, may be too small for the large correction target. In this instance, there is a smaller sized correction target that can be used. Select the Fast Correction mode. Set the estimated scan time parameter to the estimated duration of one pass over the target model. Cognix recommends 4 to 5 seconds for the 20mm target model. Click the Grab 1 and Perform Correction button and start to move the correction target across the laser. If the target is acquired correctly, the 3D model and points drawn on the model will appear in the viewer as it processes the scan. Once completed, this correction will be locked to the device, even when new jobs are created. If the target failed to acquire an image, repeat the process. Now we can change the correction target to the demo part. Return to the Profile tab and adjust the exposure accordingly. Next, move to the Point Cloud tab. Point Cloud is the raw 3D data after a 3D scan is acquired. The first option is Requested Scan Length. This is the length of each scan, and it must be longer than the part we are trying to scan. Cognix recommends starting at 150 mm. The second point cloud option is requested Y resolution. This is the distance between each profile line. For a more detailed scan visual, input a smaller Y resolution value. However, the smaller the value, the slower the maximum acquisition speed will be. The max speed is reported below the slider in text box. If unsure of what an optimal value would be, we recommend starting with 0.3 to 0.5 mm. This is a good balance between maximizing scan speed and the amount of detail in your scanned images. This will change as the requested Y resolution slider is adjusted. Finally, let's look at the Filter tab. This tab is useful for improving and fine-tuning any point cloud scan. The two main features are gap filling and spike removal. Having these features toggled on will improve smoothing out the scan. Gap filling can help fill in any points along the profile that are missing. Spike removal identifies areas that have spike noise and sudden increases in the point cloud that can lead to false height information. 
The other settings contribute to the strength of the gap fill and spike reduction. Make sure to click the Apply Filters button and the newly acquired images will work with the filters enabled. Thank you for watching.